Speaker, the House will know that I represent the most beautiful constituency in England, Arundel and South Downs. 250 square miles of Sussex countryside, no large towns, only small villages and small market towns, uh, half of it in protected landscape, the South Downs National Park. Uh, nevertheless, there is oil uh, extraction in my constituency, uh, and it is entirely uncontroversial. There are small oil wells. Uh, and I have never received any complaint about them. There is a regular uh, visit, I assume, by oil tankers to take uh, the oil off the site, but they are located sensibly, and as a result, uh, the public does not get excited about them. In the, my neighbour's uh, constituency of Chichester, uh, there is, in fact, such a well in the National Park uh, itself. Similarly uncontroversial because it's located near uh, a main road, not near a community. And public uh, interest uh, uh, in uh, the proposed uh, fracking uh, in uh, West Sussex uh, takes two forms. There is the concern about the below-the-ground activity uh, that comes from uh, some. Will this activity, uh, for instance, have an impact on local water sources? And then there is the concern about the uh, above-the-ground activity. What will uh, the exploratory drilling and then any potential drilling mean in terms of future traffic movements uh, that will affect neighbourhoods? And my experience is that when proposals have been made uh, where communities get particularly exercised, it is because of their fear that the countryside in which they live is about to become industrialised uh, and that uh, what are otherwise quiet country lanes and quiet villages will suddenly find that they have uh, very significant lorry movements uh, through them, not just in the exploratory period, but potentially afterwards if large uh, sources uh, are discovered. Uh, and uh, it fell on West Sussex County Council as the responsible local authority to assess whether one proposal near uh, Wisber Green, a beautiful village in my uh, constituency, for exploratory drilling was uh, appropriate. And the County Council looked at the proposed traffic movements down very narrow lanes and was very unhappy about the impact of them. Uh, and in fact, uh, ultimately, the Council, taking no view on the merits of, of, of fracking uh, or, or, or drilling otherwise, uh, not having a policy of animus against, uh, against uh, the extraction of the mineral, nevertheless thought that the lorry movements were inappropriate. And I think they were rightly reflecting the concerns of the local uh, community. I give way to the Honourable Gentleman. Is making an excellent speech. It's not just at the drilling sites where traffic is a concern. The Nostrop Treatment Works in Leeds, one of only three places to that's licensed to treat fracking wastewater, and that wastewater would discharge into the River Eyre. So there's concern there about traffic movement and about discharge into local rivers. So it's not just at the drilling site, but it also at treatment works. Uh, the Honourable Gentleman makes an interesting point. There are, of course, environmental uh, objections that are wider, uh, and uh, those might be addressed separately by the uh, suitability, the strength of the regulation uh, of this activity. But my concern is whether it is appropriate for exploratory uh, drilling uh, and then potentially subsequent uh, uh, extraction of shale gas should be allowed by permitted development. Now, I am not an opponent in principle of permitted uh, development rights. I think that it is appropriate sometimes for uh, those rights to be applied. I am a supporter of those rights being applied uh, for the conversion of office buildings to residential premises because I think that has produced a large amount of housing that would not have happened uh, otherwise. I give way to the Honourable Gentleman. Member for giving way. Uh, the Conservative Party manifesto, the 2017 <coughs> general election, actually spoke about a, a revolution in, in, in shale gas and spoke about liberalising the planning regime. That is a, a manifesto, of course, that Conservative members stood on. The Honourable is entirely right. There were many other manifesto proposals that we stood on uh, that have uh, not found, uh, not seen the light of day. And I would gently suggest to my honourable friend, the Minister, my very good friend and near neighbour, uh, the Minister, that this would be one proposal that uh, it would be wise uh, to keep in the bottom drawer firmly locked away. I do not think that it is wise to allow uh, this. Uh, activity to be uh, uh, 
uh, put under the permitted uh, development, permitted rights regime. I don't think that's an appropriate use of this planning procedure because I think it is appropriate for local authorities to be able to assess what is the impact of things like traffic movements on an activity in uh, their area. And yes, you can put conditions on uh, permitted development. That is not the same as having it looked at by the uh, local authority. Uh, of course, all of these things are a question of balance. But one thing that I would say is that I have discovered in 14 years as the Member of Parliament uh, for this beautiful constituency in West Sussex that there is no uncontroversial, no non-controversial way of generating energy uh, in our country. Uh, yes, we all want more solar, but large-scale solar panels in beautiful countryside can uh, excite just as much opposition as, uh, for instance, uh, drilling activity uh, can. And the question is whether activity is located appropriately. And I think that some of the proposals that have been made in my constituency have been for inappropriate locations that have not thought through what the impact on local communities uh, would be, uh, and others are uncontroversial because they have been more sensibly located. So I do not have an in-principle objection to the uh, extraction of, um, uh, of oil or gas. I'm not entering into the debate about the merits of fracking uh, in particular. It's likely that there will actually only be oil in uh, my part of West Sussex and not gas anyway, I think, but I'm, I may be wrong about that. But I do know that there is concern about the potential random industrialisation of the countryside. And what we can't do is just allow that by one tick in a ministerial box and, and then find that there is absolutely no control over that whatsoever subsequently, except uh, in the... Uh, uh, protected areas of the National Park. There has to be the ability of local authorities to take a view about the impact of things like uh, tra traffic movements and decide whether uh, the levels are appropriate and potentially to be able to put conditions on it. And that's why I think we should retain uh, the existing planning regime for this activity and why I would, uh, I repeat, strongly suggest to the Minister uh, that this is not a proportionate or sensible policy uh, that he should pursue. Um, we have to reduce the time limit.